Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me today wanting to know how to draw a set of dice. And uh, she really was looking for clip art. And clip art dice are really not very good clip art. I could never find one. And I thought I had a video on dice, but evidently I had it on dominoes. I made dominoes for some people one time. But this is pretty easy to do and kind of fun. Hold down your control button to make a perfect square. You want it an even number or a, not an even number, this is an odd number, but you want it, you know, five inches. You don't want it 5.06 or something. Hit P on your keyboard and put it in the center of the page. Now we're going to take one of these circles and we're going to hit P in the C keyboard and put it in the center of the page. Now I'm not going to take the time to mathematically make sure these are in the right placement but if you're going to do it i would now when you're trying to grab your black dot it's grabbing the outside circle so there's two things you can do come in from the outside and it'll grab it or just grab your box and go up to arrange order put it back a page now when you hit your dot it'll just hit your dot i'm going to hit Control d and i'm going to make a duplicate of it i've got my nudge factor set on 1.75 Control d then we're going to grab these three, control D. So I'm making nine dots and I do, see I grab the, even though it's still the back of the page, if you come in from the side, I know now, I know not, no dice have nine dice or nine spots, but you need three. So we're making duplicates. Now we're going to make this one the six. So I'm just going to delete that one. I want to make this a five and I'm going to make this one a three. Okay, you've got that done. I would group these together. Control G. Control G. Control G. Now let's just move them out of the way for a second. We're going to grab another rectangle and make it the same five inches. And that's one of the reasons you want them to be the same so you remember what you had. doesn't have to be in the center of the page, but I get out of habit or get into habit doing it. Then you're going to go to the docker or the flyout that's normally the blend tool showing, but hit the extrude, kind of get in the center and then just go off to the to an angle. That looks pretty good. Personal preference doesn't really matter what you want to do. You want to select it all, go up to arrange and break it apart. Go get your virtual segment delete key and delete these lines that you would not be able to normally see. Now there's a couple of tricks here that make it a little bit easier. And one of them is to color this in prior. And the reason for it, I'm going to, it makes the, it a lot easier to do the, um, you'll, well, you'll just see in a second. Now I have snap to object on, so it should snap right to it. Now I have found with, so, Remember that I got my nudge factor set on 1.75. As long as I don't change that and don't move these by hand, I can put them back at any time. Now we're going to get this one and we're going to put it right on that edge. And as you can see, the gray is covering up some of our dots so we can't really see them. But if you click on your dots and go up to arrange, order, put back a page, now you can see your dot. Then we're going to click on our new sided of dice and go up to effects and go to add perspective. Now this is going to look really funny at first. And one reason you want to do this prior is because at one point you might not be able to see these lines. And once you kind of get off, um, and you could actually go ahead and put your color there. It's a lot easier to add the perspective when you can see everything because when you get it on that box and once you off, if you get off a little bit, you can't, you really can't go back and change it. And I've got my, you know, if you've watched enough of my video, I've got back a page right there. Now, same thing. Let's uh, zoom in here a little bit. Click on your item that you want to add perspective to effects add perspective once again it's going to look really funny at first but you want it on that node and on that node and because i've um, 
and it didn't move my nudge factor, it's going to be exactly, well, that one's not exactly right. What do you know? Let's see if we can't move it. No, we do need that. That's good enough. Anyway, and then you could not color in that side or color in that side and make it a little bit lighter. And I know that these sixes are not in the right place. These are better. I actually moved them down. And uh, so when you do this, if you're going to take the time, um, maybe mathematically figure it out and draw some X's across the screen and get your uh, dots in the right place to start with. But anyway, that's how you add perspective to a set of dice to make it look like it's setting at an angle. And that would engrave pretty good. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.